volunteers. Um, we are a volunteer-run organization, as you know, because I think most of you volunteered here. Um, the artists and the audience and the crew make the meaning, and uh, I just want to really thank all the volunteers from the bottom of my heart, and I want to thank all the volunteer staff. On behalf of the board, we're so impressed and proud of all of you. And uh, we know that um, we've looked at the budget and we know that you're not in this for the money. <laughs> and um, we have a lot to say about that too. Yeah, let's, let's talk about that. So I'm sure many of you know, we just recently completed a, let's call it a successful Kickstarter campaign. Um, and we thank you so much, all of you, for contributing. And I just got an email today from the National Endowment for the Arts saying that they are not going to fund us. And that's why it's so important that we fund ourselves as much as we can. Um, of course, we also are very lucky and appreciative for the funding that we do get from the New York City Department of Cultural Affairs and the New York State Council of the Arts. And they really make a difference eh, if they only knew. But, but you know, I just. It was interesting to get that letter from the NEA today saying, you know, too bad, so sad. Um, and it was a long shot, but, you know, don't you think we deserve, you know, like, I don't know if you pay taxes, but if you do, something, something not right is happening. <laughs> but, but thank you to all the 200, 200 plus people who donated to Kickstarter and helped us do this. Because, you know, Thank you to everyone who did on camera during the camera auction. We're so grateful for that effort. Thank you to everyone who posted about the Kickstarter because getting the word out was really important. Um, thank you to everyone who has purchased a ticket for something this week, um, including tonight. Thank you so much for being here. Um, the audience really makes the work meaningful and your um, the cost of your ticket doesn't pay for all this, but it's certainly an important contribution. No, and I think it's actually really hard for us to ask for money because we so much more prefer giving things away. You know, like making all this stuff and then making it available, making the space open to people and saying just come in and enjoy and be yourself. And it was kind of funny, I have this story, we were uh, working on one of the installations the other night and the lighting crew was here and this is people we've been working with for a number of years, but it's this straight guy, and he walked up to me, and he was looking at these people, and he said, huh, naked people. <laughs> They're just being themselves. <laughs> and he loved it. And, and you know, like, it, that, you know, for a homo chauvinist or whatever, I thought that was really great. What a great, what a great, understanding of who we are, you know, that there are the queer ourselves that we are. And one of our be. artists was using a power sander and in a bra, and I was just really happy that they were fully, you know, supported and protected here. <laughs> we should give special thanks to uh, our crack construction team, because we didn't actually, who, who, who told us a few weeks ago, this is, this is Sean and Kirby. But, but they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna come right near the end. We'll help you out with whatever's left over. Turns out like everything was left over and we hadn't gotten to all that stuff and they really saved our ass. <laughs> and it's just, and it's been beautiful. No, really, they're fucking amazing and you should applaud a lot. Yeah. And you know, again, there's just dozens and dozens of volunteers and you know, it's you cannot thank them all enough, but there's also sometimes people who really stand out in many ways. Some people, of course, some volunteers are immortalized in body casts that, that are suspended, you know, so you might not recognize them in the purple form, but yes, they gave their entire selves to be, to be there. Um, see if you can find them in person. But, but there's someone uh, especially that I, that I was impressed by this year um, is Ryan Backer, who just showed up and kept showing up and kept giving and giving and giving and giving and giving. And, you know, sometimes there's nothing left to give except, you know, our hearts back. And so thank you, Ryan, for being here. You're, you're the gold, silver star, superstar volunteer for me. I mean, but not for me, but, you know, <laughs> for everyone. 
Uh, did you volunteer for the first time this year? Did someone here, did anyone here volunteer for the first time this year? Stand up, please. Stand up. No, really, stand up. Last year and this year. <laughs> oh, Tiger took on weight to more than more than she should have. So she's working. She's still working. Three years ago. <laughs> Three, but, do you, are you volunteering for the third time? Stand up. Wow. Have you been for four or more years? Please stand up. Uh, and that means uh, Jack and Peter. <laughs> I also want to thank a few other people, volunteers. Leah Byrne, who did construction. Austin yeah. Windows, who did a lot of uh, knit, knitting stuff and, and other things. Um, uh, Celeste Alejandro, uh, who has been here at C6 also. Um, I don't understand like, what do you people do in life that you can be here doing this. It makes no sense. Uh, Jacqueline Mary for being our access, uh, accessibility consultant and trying to do things. We have, uh, we have not met our own standards this time. It's so hard in New York sometimes with these terrible old buildings that you know, have many stairs. And so it's an ongoing process yeah. and we're working on it. And thank you, for Jack and Mary, and yes. thank you for um, understanding our efforts here and that the process goes on. And um, it's, a, it's a journey that we're you know trying to get more and more and more welcoming, more and more and more accessible, more and more available to all the members of our community. Um, thank you also to Sally Wink and Daria, who are other really great volunteers. We thank you, we couldn't do it without you. And then Domi, I don't know if you stood up if you're in the room, but you know, you've been doing it for, oh there you are, lying down in the room. <laughs> A specialty. Um, <laughs> also, you know, people, and also there's so many people who come from all over, not just filmmakers, but audience members, curators. Uh, Gary Vero's in the house, who I first talked to on the phone in 1994, and has been coming for 20 years. I mean, you know, that's so impressive, right? Really amazing. So we appreciate that. Um, and, and then, you know, staff, who are the staff, you know, who also don't get paid, and, you know, like it's, Volunteers, it's crazy. But we should thank all them. Oh, I'm about to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Sue Burgess, who's uh, co director of programming. Um, she doesn't like to talk, but she's uh, right here. And she's been a co director since 2005. And she first came to knock on my door in 1995, I think, when the festival office was in my apartment because we couldn't afford any place else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but actually, Sue has an installation in two of the bathrooms, so check it out. She's also an artist, of course. Um, Disco, who's been our, in the past, our volunteer coordinator, is now co director of Kind of Wicked in Every Shape. If you have a question, Disco made a spreadsheet about it. <laughs> it's true. Um, Chris Gray and Kyle Croft, who are installations. Chris Gray's right here. In um, as I mentioned, Chris Roberts production, uh, Lydia yeah. Mendez also production, so Lydia can't be up here because he's in a purple costume inside a pyramid in the other room. Uh, Brooklyn, Sparrow, Jesse Kessel of Catering, who's cooking, can't be in the room. Uh, Kelvin Gonzalez, who's Department, you know, we don't like to talk about too much, but is what the one that is makes you happy out there? Go make a donation. At the, yeah, there's two donation stations, and you get a libation in return. Uh, Jill Ariella, who's really stepped up, and it was hilariously used to be our program officer at Department of Cultural Affairs, and now is no longer there, so she could be here. Um, Econ, who's do, doing sound and has been. He's unseen, he's in the booth all the time for the past 
10 years. Um, uh, Nabila Vega and David Sokolovsky uh, and Soto and other people working on nightlife things so that we can hopefully not disturb our neighbors too much on the residential street across there. <laughs> Alexis Pace has been doing box office forever. Jose Cuevas, uh, who I first met in 1999 in an underground queer warehouse and Quempro in Brooklyn, and we're still friends. <laughs> uh, Ari Rosenbaum on merchandise, thank you so much. We have all these great t-shirts made by artists, you know, out there. If you can support handmade artist t-shirts that help support mix, thank you very much. We're still working through the last of our American Apparel donation of t-shirts before they go bankrupt. <laughs> Uh, and of course, the totally unsung hero of everyone, Devin Gallegos. Yeah. 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 Works in the office, and works at day job, and it's like, and I'll come back to the office and work some more. It's just not an automaton, but oh my god, doing these things that like need to happen, and it's really incredible, and helps me from uh, not committing suicide. Um, <laughs> Ethan Shoshan! Ethan Shoshan coordinates the t-shirts as he's been doing so since 2008. It's thankless and horrible and sweet and wonderful.